Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to teach you 10 mistakes to avoid for a beginner dropshipping in 2019. Let's go. Step one, don't ship worldwide. Okay, it may sound good, but it really is not. Common issues you can get is things like import tax. Another thing is many countries don't support ePacket. They only support um, AliExpress standard shipping or China Post, and those work, but they're not as good. Um, there's a far higher chance of them being lost in transit. You get a lower conversion rate, okay? And you get more fraudulent sales, okay, guys? And managing people with different languages, okay? So that's one of the other big ones. You're gonna get all of those issues and also as well, even on AliExpress, a lot of the addresses don't apply properly. As a result, you end up having to use Google um, Google Maps to try and actually find the address and correlate it correctly. Um, I've had that many times when I was doing that. And the solution is, to use United, I start with United States. In fact, that's pretty much all I market to now. United States at minimum, you can go US, um, and then I would go uh, from US, I would go to Canada, then I would go United Kingdom, then I go Australia, and then I go New Zealand. And I go in that order because I like to um, understand that the product does well in each of those countries and really enhance the experience for each country. And by that, I mean getting the products imported. There's warehouses all across the world, right? You really want to emphasize on building your brand. Okay. and you can uh, get a private supplier once you start getting sales okay if you're getting sales in the US or Canada get a private supplier find them on Upwork and you get faster processing times you get faster shipping times and you get cheaper than Aliexpress prices um, and you can use tracking software like Aftershift to actually track where the order is and automatically update the customer via email, via text message, or via messenger. Okay, it's gonna save a lot of headache, but don't ship worldwide. You're only gonna encounter a lot of problems. So I'm gonna show you on AliExpress a bit about this now. So to show you what I mean, we can see here that this product can be shipped around the world, but there's a few problems, 20 to 37 days, okay? We're actually talking four to six weeks here, and there's no tracking. And I assure you, if someone from this country and you're getting a number of sales, people will be asking where the order is at all the time. Okay, and you can see that these other countries, a lot of them don't have tracking. A lot of these countries, you're not going to get sales, but you can get a number of sales from each of these, as well as in some countries, your shipping expenses can actually be extremely high, even at the cheapest one, it can be really quite expensive, okay? So you can see here that shipping, will, uh, selling worldwide might sound good, but you can see that to a lot of these countries, it doesn't work, okay? So just stick to the big five. You got something like here, New Zealand. See, look at that, even New Zealand, e-packet is 20 to 40 days. And we can actually see that um, we've got China Post, which is actually cheap and free, in fact, and it has it's faster and it's got tracking. So I recommend you sticking to the big five, okay? The big five have the biggest amount of money to spend and it's the easiest to ship items to. Step two, don't buy a pre-made Shopify dropshipping store, okay? So I'm just gonna tell you the problems. They're very basic, okay? They're not optimized for sales at all. They are actually very expensive for the amount of um, value you actually get for them. There's a little bit, a little amount of support from the creators because they don't actually understand dropshipping at all. You're likely to actually get scammed from a lot of these. I've seen that a lot. You're not learning anything valuable. One of the most important parts of building a store yourself is you're actually building skills, okay? It's really important. Um, and you're just cutting corners, all right? So those are the problems you're gonna have. Solution is make the store yourself from YouTube videos. I have a ton of YouTube videos on how to make high converting landing pages, how to build a store, how to integrate the various apps, how to do everything really that you need, okay? There's tons of videos out there. Um, learn these invaluable skills, okay? Long-term, it's gonna benefit you. That, that it is gonna benefit you. If you're gonna take this serious, you're gonna to have to know how your store works. Simple as that. Use the funds, the equivalent funds for like a course or some mentoring or, or something, okay? It, it, it doesn't matter. Um, again, you understand the components of your store and you'll actually know what to do with your store when you go when you start getting sales and scale. I've seen a lot of times where people get a pre-made store and they actually start getting sales uh, randomly and then they don't know what to do because they don't know how their store works, okay? Or people wonder why they don't get sales because they got this store but the payment gateways weren't connected 
and they didn't think that you need a payment gateway to get a sale. Okay, so I'm going to show you just an example. So here's just a Fiverr gig that I just randomly found to use as reference. And a lot of people use Fiverr because it's a very cheap way of getting a task done. Uh, but especially for stores, it's really bad. You can see here that you can get a basic store for $37. Design your store, blah, blah, with 1 to 20 products, etc. etc. And we have a look at the specifics. Add your brand logo, products, slider images, promotional, create static content pages, use apps to enhance, add a chat widget. These are all basic things that you can do in about an one to two hours. Okay, they're going to add, you know, let's say with this one, one to 40 products. I guarantee you those products are either heavily saturated or complete products that are not going to actually get you any form of sales. Okay, they're not going to get you anything at all. That $125 or whatever that is in your currency, you could actually spend that on actually just getting started and making uh, Facebook ads, okay? You can see that these are bad. The amount of people that I see getting them, that actually, um, you know, go ahead with each of these packages because they want a pre-made store so then they can ideally focus on getting sales. This does not work, okay? Those products, you would be lucky to get sales from those products, I assure you. Hey everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to today's video and comment down below. Crush it to go on the chance to win a 15 minute coaching call with myself, Ricky Hayes. And congratulations to the winners of last video. You have won a 15 minute coaching call with myself. Comment in this video and I'm gonna get in touch with you and we're gonna have our call. Step three, don't drop ship on eBay or Amazon. Okay, so eBay is extremely competitive. Amazon is insanely competitive. There's fees for each platform. Every sale, there's a percentage of the fees that go to them, of course, right? Uh, there's the marketing for each of them is ever increasing. Uh, the amount of competition, obviously, as well. You do not own that audience at all. Amazon do. You cannot do remarketing at all. You cannot control the traffic. Um, you're in a field of hundreds of people. So you're on literally a website with hundreds to thousands of people, potentially in that one niche, one product, for instance. Um, you cannot brand the same as you would your own store. So you constantly, you might find a number of products that sell well, but you you don't have the amount of income streams you can make by owning your own store. The solution is to make a Shopify store. Solution is to use Facebook ads or Google ads as much as people may not want. You can create an audience around your store. I've seen it time and time again, my students and people, and including myself, you build an audience of people that are gonna just come and buy from you time and time again. You cannot really do that on Amazon or eBay. Um, you, so you're basically just branding. You can set up things like email marketing, text marketing, messenger marketing, Facebook and Instagram lives. And and that will allow you to continue to drop ship what, using your audience. You can set up remarketing, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on Google, whether it's on Bing, whether it's all your different forms of app remarketing, it doesn't matter, okay? And the other important thing is you can import and manage your products so you own the entire experience. And what I mean by that is, so with Amazon, you send them to like a fulfillment center from Amazon, right? With this, you have, you can use your own fulfillment centers um, and you can control it even more. You know what's going on. You can control the centers. You have complete control. And the, I forgot to include this, this is an obvious one, but your margins are much larger. You can make your margins much larger. Step four, do I need a company LLC immediately? The, you know, the, the answer is no, okay? So the problem is you're gonna have an additional expense straight away. It can cost you a couple hundred bucks. It could cost you even more. It really depends. You have to start paying taxes or at least start claiming taxes in terms of you're going to have to then start paying it quarterly, half yearly, yearly, whatever that may, may arrangement may be. You're most likely going to need an accountant to help you understand your tax legalities and the various laws involved. Um, and there's other legalities based on your country. Okay, So every country has their own sort of unique laws that are going to come into the equation that, um, that it's going to be a problem for you. So you don't need an, an LLC straight away. You're just starting. The solution is just become a sole proprietor. You can apply to be a sole proprietor. You don't have to actually even do that straight away, but you can, and I would recommend it um, because you, you're going to need to do that at some point anyway. Um, apply for one in your home country, okay? So don't worry about applying for one in another country straight away. Just apply for it in your own country. You just need to go to an accountant or depending on how your country is, apply online. If you are in the United States, however, I do recommend after a short amount of time 
to um, make an LLC. It's it's much easier um, to make an LLC, uh, but at minimum, do sole proprietor. Okay, um, you do this so that you come. So the reason that you eventually make an LLC is um, or a, a company um, is basically so that if there's any lawsuits, if there's any claims, whatever. It's against the company and not against you. So it's actually more or less protecting yourself. That's why it's something that's to consider down the line, but not immediately when you're first starting off. Um, and you know, it's important as well that you report your earnings. Okay, report your, your earnings if you're using Shopify payments, Stripe, PayPal, whatever that may be, report those earnings because you are gonna have to pay tax on them and uh, you have to be prepared for that, okay? But you, to answer this again, you don't need a company straight away. What you need is, at minimum, a sole proprietorship and you can work at making an LLC or company in the future. Just speak to uh, a tax tax agent about that. Step five, provide excellent customer service and I cannot emphasize on this enough. So the problems that's gonna happen if you don't is you're gonna get tons of customer service emails that are gonna flood you common things is, where's my order? How long is my order gonna be here? This product is defective, this product is incorrect, etc. Okay, customers will then, if you don't respond to that, they're gonna give you bad reviews on your store, on Facebook, even on Google. Um, they're gonna share it and just do anything they can to make it so that they can hurt your business. And it hurts. Uh, you're gonna get refunds. Customers will request refunds if they're having to wait too long or if it's, um, not to the expectation. Um, customers will initiate chargebacks. So customers that haven't heard anything from you at all, because people try and avoid doing emails, they're gonna initiate chargebacks because I think they've been scammed. Okay, so what can then happen is if you hit over, it depends on your merchant provider. Um, generally it's two to four percent chargebacks. Okay, so two to four percent. So if it's four percent, then four orders in a hundred can be chargebacks. Okay, refunds are a bit different. Um, they're, they're a bit more lenient with that, but even refunds, there's a limit as well. But with chargebacks, it can really hurt um, hurt you big time. Um, and you can, be, you can be temporarily locked, you can be permanently locked, you could be banned. I've had a number of people that have been full on banned where they can't even make another account with that merchant provider because they've been put on a black list. Okay, um, you will spend a lot of time just handling customers' anger. Okay, so if you don't provide excellent customer service, they're just going to get very angry, and you're going to be out. You're going to be spending half your time trying to just handle that. Uh, and and the big thing is obviously with this is you're not going to be building long-term income. Okay, so this is something where you just people that take this approach of providing bad customer service show you that their store is going to die, and they're going to just keep jumping to and from stores to try and make stores that way. And, and it's not a sustainable way and not a smart way of making money. The solution is one, update your customers on shipping times. I do this through the Shopify notifications, they're already there, and I use Klaviyo, and that's in an upcoming video. Um, I use Klaviyo where you can modify those templates, and I'll show you that in a full Klaviyo video. I use Aftership, which is a, a tracking software, one of the biggest in the world, one of the best, integrates with Shopify, can give your customers updates on where their order is at uh, via email and text, and you can modify those to give it your own uh, custom feel. And the benefit of that is further helps build, uh, boost confidence in your business, okay? That's really important. Um, and it'll save you a lot of headache with where's my order, where's my order, where's my order, okay? Um, hire a virtual assistant. Okay, really important that even with all of this, you need a virtual assistant because you're going to get refunds, you are going to get chargebacks, you're going to get people asking uh, various questions, whatever that may be. You need a, a virtual assistant, at least one. You can go on Upwork. I'm going to show you that now. Um, Three to four dollars an hour uh, or five bucks and you can get one and they can work one to two hours a day. And I assure you that one to two hours you can put towards other things and it will help you quickly elevate your business to that next level. Um, so get them to respond to live chat, to your Facebook comments, to emails, okay? Uh, you know, Be transparent with your customers on shipping times. If we're drop shipping, it's usually a two to three week delivery. So that's why I use the Shopify notifications and Aftership. Just be transparent. As long as you're transparent, it's better than not knowing anything. That's gonna only hurt you long term. Uh, 
respond to any merchant requests for more information okay so uh this is a part of customer service because your merchant centers will ask for more information on who you are what your business does how long you've been around uh, are you going to be scaling various things such as those so this is after ship you could just make a url on your site and give them this and then all of a sudden they can now track their order something as simple as that it's going to save you a lot of headache and then we got um upwork that you can just hire vas we're seeing here seven dollars four dollars okay and 5k earn all right and so you just need to make a post uh, a job posting on upwork get a va in and help you elevate your business to that next level. They're not expensive. There's plenty to choose from. Just put a job posting out there, hire one, train them up, and then you, there you're good to go. Step six, focusing on a single product. Okay, so problems that are gonna come from this is you're putting all eggs into one basket, as simple as that. You're not diversifying your business at all. You can waste all your time and energy in a single product. Okay, and the product may not be even scalable. You might get sales, but it may not be scalable. Um, and it may not be a, a quality product, okay? So the solution to this is test multiple products, okay? So have a, a store where I recommend a general niche store. So instead of it being everything, you do a general niche, which is let's say around dogs, anything related to dogs, but instead of everything under the sun, it's just everything related to dogs, okay? so. Then what you do is you find a winning product and you basically build a store around that product and accommodating items. Spend $15 a day minimum on ads, okay? And you wanna try and test two products a day. I recommend on both of those products, spending $15 a day each on both of those products to really test and actually confirm them. Don't put your eggs all in the one basket and do not get attached to a product. If a product is starting to get sales and it's getting traction, but it's not profitable, don't don't even bother, okay? Step number seven, knowing your numbers, okay? So it's important that we know this because the problem is you're gonna lose money. You're unable to scale a product and a missed opportunity to make real money. Okay, so the solution is always sell a product at three times the marker. Most products on AliExpress, most people sell, let's say five bucks. You wanna at least sell it for 15. In fact, I would recommend $20. So um, I always recommend including your shipping in that expense as well. So if you're, again, marketing to the US makes it easy, you just include e-packet. So let's say it's five bucks plus $2, seven times three, $21. Make it $25, make a bit of extra profit, okay? Um, always try and improve your average order value. I have tons of videos on that. Actually, just go and watch them on how to improve your average order value. Always try and improve your customer return rate. That's really important. Customers that come back and buy, that's just free money, 100% free money, okay? And manage your ads so that you have a maximum cost per acquisition. So if you wanna spend only $10 to acquire a customer, okay, it's important that you understand that so that you can continue to be profitable forever. Step eight, starting on a thin budget, okay? So you're gonna burn through money when you first start like anything, you're learning, okay? So you're gonna burn through your money extremely quick. If, we, if you have $100, you're gonna burn through that really quick and I highly doubt you're gonna succeed. Um, you need to spend money on sh the Shopify, Shopify apps, and obviously ads. You're likely gonna be very stressed, which is gonna lead to poor decisions. You're gonna, um, you cannot even pay for the product that people have purchased. So if you actually get sales, depending on how much your product price is and how much budget you have, you might not even be able to buy the product. So how can you even ship it to them? Um, you'll get refunds, you're gonna get refunds and you, you can't even process the, the refunds, okay? Because you don't have the money, okay? Solution, start with $1,000, which for starting a business in 2019 online at home on a laptop, isn't much at all. In fact, it's nothing. Work a part-time job and save money. I know that the goal of this is so that we can be our own boss and control our time, but it, unfortunately at times, there's times we have to take a step back to take two steps forward. No more KFC, no more coffees, no more unnecessary spending. Stop buying all this stuff that most people end up buying and you just don't need. Stop doing it. Um, all the money you make from sales originally needs to be just reinvested back into the business. More apps. 
getting virtual assistants, uh, testing other products, uh, improving your store, getting developers in, all the money to go back into your store. It's not to go in your pocket, it's to go back into the business. Okay, F do not take a single dollar out and focus on the, just growing the business for three months. People say that they can start getting sales immediately and make a lot of money very quick, but that's just not really true. Starting a business takes time, and especially if you want longevity rather than short-term cash, this is what you need to do. Step nine, procrastination. And this is one of the biggest ones. You're gonna never see any form of results if you don't take any action. You're only gonna waste your time that you have right here, right now, okay? It's gonna cause you to fall behind everyone else, okay? It's gonna create this never-ending spiral of why are you falling behind everyone else? Because you're not, you're procrastinating, okay? Competition's only gonna get more fierce in 2019, 2020, 21. More people are doing it. Dropshipping is trending. Okay, expenses for starting a store is only going to creep up as more apps, Shopify, increase their expenses. Merchant fees are going to go up. Facebook expenses, Google is all going to go up. Okay, uh, global recognition it's going to make it just harder and harder. More people are doing it. Solution: Start right now. Make a store right now. Do not fret the small details. Start testing products right now. Do not worry about the perfect product. Do not worry about the, the costing of the costs of testing, okay? Even if you're unprofitable to begin with, it's a learning curve. It's like going to do higher forms of education that you pay a lot of money for to learn those skills. This is the exact same here, but it's directly coming out of your pocket. Don't be worried to lose $500. Just think of it as a small weekend trip, okay? Join my Facebook group, okay? There's a lot of support there, including from myself. I'm very active in that community to help you learn and motivate yourself. Watch motivational videos. There are tons of motivational videos. Even go to the degree of reading books and set schedules. Step 10, don't sell branded products. Okay, believe it or not, this is not allowed. It can get you sued. Your ads can be completely unapproved overnight. You can get banned from Facebook. You can get banned from Google. You can get banned from Shopify. You can get a lot of negative feedback saying from people saying that this is not a legitimate store selling these products. Okay, the solution, don't sell them. And just look at them up on trademarkia.com. Okay, trademarkia and type in a general name of the type of product. Okay, and just don't sell them. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Don't sell Marvel products. Don't sell Disney products. Don't sell anything from large brands that you know is someone else's product. As simple as that. That concludes today's video on 10 things to do before dropshipping in 2019 for beginners. I hope you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, crush it to go in the competition to win a 15-minute coaching call with myself, Ricky Hayes, and share this with anyone that you know to help them out as well. And check out all my other videos. There's over 100 videos in my channel, okay? Thank you so much for your time.